Hey friendos, this is the second mini devlog for my Snowpiercer fan game. I finally figured out a name. I've decided to keep it simple and call it Pale, but eventually add meaning to it within the story. This mini devlog is all about dynamic level loading in Godot. If you want to check out the first mini log about Subnautica style inventory, I'll link a playlist for the devlogs of Pale in the description. As mentioned, this video is about dynamic level loading. This took me a couple of days to implement, but I imagine it will be super beneficial to my game. Dynamic levels allow me to modularly add content without needing to load the whole world at once. Here you can see that I can move around the level and tiles will load and unload based on my position. This works in game as well as an editor. Since it's also an editor, I can easily open up a level and alter it to see the changes within the game. I can also alter the level directly in the game by making the levels local and overriding the level file. This feature allows me to work with multiple levels at once. Don't mind the textures, they are a work in progress, and I still have much to learn art-wise, but if you know of any great tutorials I can learn from, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll check them out. Obviously, the level loading won't be just a couple of tiles at once. If you want to know more about how I accomplished this feature and my plans for it, check out my article in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you had any thoughts on the dynamic level loading or how I can improve my work, throw them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.